It's an old one because uh, uh, many things have changed since I uh, don't know if you heard about the case in, in the Netherlands that uh, it's good because when we are talking about law and, and, and never give up on our rights, I was fired by Rotterdam University and I sued the university and last month we won the case alhamdulillah because it was wrong and it's in fact exactly in the light of what is done by uh, the Muslim Legal Fund of uh, America and the National Coalition to Protect uh, uh, Civil Freedoms. And I, I think that, uh, uh, you know, when I come to such uh, uh, event uh, and to support organizations like this, I feel at home and I feel as if I'm responding to a call which is based on our duty. As uh, human beings, as Muslims and as citizens uh, in our world today, and especially in the United States of America. When I, I you know, I have been talking and listening to the cases and, and uh, the, the successes and, and the difficulties, and I really think that we should understand that, uh, and I will come to this later in our discussion uh, and in my talk, but uh, before the whole program, starts and after what you heard uh, uh, as an introduction to, uh, to this evening, uh, it's our duty to, to, to support uh, uh, these organizations because we can't, every one of us cannot do it. Uh, it has to be done by specialists, it has to be done by lawyers, and you know that the people who are supporting what is now something which is a reality in the West, and especially in the United States, but not only we are facing exactly the same in Europe, is the new trend of Islamophobia. And in fact, these new trends of uh, Islamophobia, uh, Islamophobic uh, organizations and people who are building on Islamophobia are using terrorism and using what happened in the country uh, a few years ago. And it's a rhetoric, it's a slogan, be careful, Muslims are dangerous. And then by creating an atmosphere, this has an impact on the judges, it has an impact on the way we read the legal framework and we implement it. It's a psychological factor which is very important. It's now for the lawyers to say, look, these people are dangerous. These people are uh, killing your daughters and your sons, and it creates an atmosphere. Now we should understand that if we want to react to this, it's important to work on, on, on three uh, uh, different dimensions. The first one is to be equipped and to be informed. And this is an intellectual struggle which is important, to know what is happening in this country. It's not enough to, to say that you live in a democratic society. Any citizen living in a democratic society and not being informed is a dangerous citizen. If you don't know what is happening in this society, we claim that the United States of America is the greatest democracy in the world. I'm sorry, there are some people in your prisons that are treated in a way which has nothing to do with human dignity. Completely wrong. This is the opposite of what a dignified democracy is. So you have to be informed. And not only as Muslims for the sake of Muslims. This is as Muslims for the sake of humanity for the sake of citizenship, for the sake of what it means to be a human being. And I think that this is the first thing that we have to do. The second is if you are equipped and if you can do something, do it with your knowledge, do it with your, your presence. And if you can't, at least, at least you have to give money to support the organizations who are doing it, which are doing it for you. At least this is the minimum you can do is to give the money to the organization saying, we can't do it for you ourselves, so do it for us. Do it for all of us. Do it for the sake of this country, because it's not only the Muslims that are, that are targeted, it's all the people. You know that the people who are facing the most important uh, uh, discriminations in the job market are not even the Muslims today. If you look at, at what is happening with the Latinos in this country, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable, so we should be at the forefront of anything which has to do with more justice, more dignity in this country. And it means that some of our brothers and sisters in humanity are treated in jail in a way which is 
undignified. Let us at least give the money and give the support to the organizations that are doing the job for us in our name. So let, inshallah, be this uh, evening, not be an evening where all the tables are full uh, uh, with your presence, but where you will, inshallah, support the two organizations because it's a family and it's, uh, I'm a member of this family. People who, under who are understanding Islam in one way, which is wherever you are, in whichever country you live in, you should be on the side of the oppressed, you should be on the side of justice. Inna Allah yamuru bil wal ihsan. And please, it's a special fatwa as you know, no clapping, just thinking and meditating, inshallah. As-salamu alaykum.